Everybody is doing lovely out there. It's a beautiful day in the A for me. Um, oh girl, we got a lot to talk about. I posted a video yesterday and it was actually from three years ago. And it was kind of like a little comedy roast from Angie, the pro-black lesbian cousin that didn't get invited to Serena's wedding. But I posted that yesterday and on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to go to my Instagram and follow me there and follow me on Facebook. Um, but yeah, I was saying some real true shit. And the name of that video that I made long ago was called When the Bed Winches Marry, Mammies Rejoice. But before we dig into shit, because it's a lot we need to dig into, shout out to my B1 family. For people that already know what time it is, people that know what a bed winch is, <laughs> you've studied Neely Fuller, you've studied the likes of TBA, you know, um, a PBT, and TN, honey, you already know what time it is. So, shout out to all of y'all out there. I'm definitely in some backyard scenery. We've got some noises going on, so just don't, you know, worry about the noises. It's a lot of people doing spring renovations around and leave blowers and all that shit but shout out to my b1 family people that I already know what time it is when i say bed winch because we don't have a lot of time i'm not sure why we think it's cute to play dumb in the middle of war that's not gonna work that don't win no wars but i know we like to do that and it's a defense mechanism it's a mechanism that slaves have when they don't know what to do, when they don't know how to stand up, when you don't have a warrior code, this is how we act. This is how our people act. We are still, we're not too far from the plantation. Do y'all realize that? We're not too far from slavery. So a lot of our behavior still mimics that of slaves. A lot of your standards, a lot of your belief systems, they haven't evolved from slavery. You still believe in, in the ideologies from slavery. You still act like a slave. You still act like you are being owned. You're owned. You're owned. There's still a hierarchy in your mind. There's still light skin, dark skin. You still acknowledge massa. You still think the, the white man's ice is colder. This is shit that we still got in our collective. We're not too far from the plantation. We're not, we're, we're, we're not too far away from that. Don't y'all understand? This is how sick people act. This is how people that haven't evolved past the plantation. This is how they act. We have them happy to marry into Massa's family. You happy to see a mulatto being born. You, you, you think that there is something inherently wrong with being dark skinned. Can we, we, we're not talking about the real truth in our collective because if this weren't true, you wouldn't see the bullshit you see. If we had real solidarity, if we really knew the price of melanin when you this color, if we really knew the price of melanin and the value of being dark and being African and having certain phenotypes like naps and our skin complexion, if we really were into that shit, we wouldn't have a culture so hell bent still on wanting to mix and, and, and be hybrids and mimic that of, of the European culture and phenotype. You wouldn't want to stick contacts in your eyes. You wouldn't want to make your hair straight. If we really did value this shit here, you don't because you're sick and because you were an African that was made to hate yourself. No one wants to admit that we are not that many generations away from the fucking plantation. There are not a lot of us that are awakened that were able to be, um, to, to, to go through a cleansing. There, there were a lot of you that got sick that still value light skin and something that's red bone. It's, it's a lot of y'all still like that. Y'all y'all really, y'all, it's a lot of women that don't want to have a dark skinned child. It's a lot of y'all bad wenches and, and a lot of mammies that love to see mixed, you know, the mixed breed shit. It's a lot of y'all that like to see interracial relationships. I don't give a good goddamn a fuck what you think. I understand eugenics. This is not the we are the world conversation. 
This is the wrong channel for that shit. Everything about me resonates black, black, blackity black. If it ain't African, I don't want it. If it ain't dark and melanated, I don't fucking fuck with it. Probably anyway. If it's not us, if it's not FBA, if it's not pro-African centered, if it's not B1, if it's not conscious, I'm not fucking with that shit. Everybody didn't get sick. I didn't get sick. So we see Meghan Markle and Serena Williams. Why don't we have... We need to have a sisterhood and we need to have a collective that frowns upon this shit. If I have to stand alone, I don't give a shit. Because I know the people that sick, that value interracial relationships. I know you're mentally ill. I can say that I understand exactly what the fuck it is. I don't cheer for that shit. I don't even cheer when white people adopt black children. I understand who the fuck these people are. And y'all have forgotten, as I said in my video yesterday, so you wanna go marry into and mix up with the phenotype of people that sold our babies, so your ancestors, buck broke your ancestors and threw newborn babies out for alligators for bait. These are the people that you wanna run and mimic and imitate their phenotype. I don't wanna imitate none of that shit. I don't, and you, you damn sure don't wanna mix and mix breed with the shit. I'm cool. I know who my ancestors are. I know who their ancestors are. I'm cool on all that shit. I, I, I don't, look, let me read something to y'all, okay? And I posted this. I'm going to see how, how long ago this was, but I posted this. All right. Thank you, John Scott, for the um, donation at Money Sign Art Kathy on Cash. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, Cause it's time to talk some real shit right now. I posted this February 3rd, 2019. I said, given our past and present history, any black woman that is attracted to white men is in a mental coma and shouldn't be trusted. Hashtag off code. Uh-uh, you, you, you can't be trusted, sis. You think Brad and them is fine? Oh, no, no, I'm cool. Thank you, bye. Mm -mm. You talking about I'm open to dating all races, bye. Cause the white women evil too, bye. Abusing the children. They got this white teacher that had the black child cleaning feces out the toilet. Why are we put these, why are we putting our children with these evil ass white women? Y'all don't understand who y'all ancestors are. See, this is why the honorable Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X said, a fool would allow the enemy to educate his children. Nobody but a fool. He, the, see, that child don't even need to be in that motherfucking classroom. And even if you haven't heard of this story, it's always, we hear stories about black children being mistreated in these goddamn classrooms. We should ever put our children in a position where they're being educated by our oppressors and our enemies, our open enemies. Okay, y'all wanna play dumb. Y'all want to play dumb. Oh, what happened? We're playing dumb. That's the price of playing dumb at this point. If you don't know how to take your children out and start homeschool, baby, you already online learning. Why the fuck can't you go ahead and make... See what I'm saying? That's the price of play, play, playing dumb. That's not saying we don't have any damn um, remorse for, for when our children are mistreated. No. When you're at war, you act as if you're at war. Let me get my damn um, detox water. See, when you're at war, it's certain shit you don't do. You still think these people are your friends. You don't know water's wet yet. They shooting and killing and all types of shit. It takes, it takes you to be the frog in the pot. That analogy, being the frog in the pot. And when you keep turning up the temperature on the frog in the pot, when you keep turning that temperature up, the frog just keeps adjusting. Griping and adjusting, griping and adjusting until it's eventually dead because they don't know, they don't have a, a threshold of pain that says fight or flight, let's go, we gotta go, I gotta survive. He just keeps adjusting and adjusting and adjusting to his own demise. And then that's what you're doing. Y'all better learn from nature. You're no more than a frog. The people that are asleep. You have no more logic than a frog. You have no more survival instinct than a fucking frog not to know how to protect yourself, protect your children. You don't know that you are in harm's way. You don't know that you lay in with the oppressor. You don't know who, who your open enemy is. That's what we're really, that's the conversation we're really having. 
Y'all still think these people fuck with y'all. Y'all still think these people like you. You still don't understand that Becky and Brad are the most demonic people you could ever know. Becky and Brad ain't shit. And, and Lee Kim and all the Asians ain't shit either. Y'all don't know how to go on code. This is the price of playing dumb. We want to have sympathy for Meghan Markle because she met, she experienced racism. What do we, hold on, hold on, hold, hold Let me read something to y'all because see, this is what I love when the sisters check the bullshit. Shout out to Jason Reed. Jason Reed, the most on-code brother I knew, and he's, and he's a Gemini. I love you, Jason Reed. But he posted this the other day. He said, you know, I love it when black women check an out-of-pocket black female like this sister did to Monique Presley. When the sister pointed out that she has no sympathy for Meghan Markle, who knowingly, all caps, chose to marry into a white supremacist family, Monique tries to go the what about as a human route. Epic fail. And this female is supposed to be a defense attorney? Listen to what Gladys Chateau, a womb sister on Twitter, who is black, I am at globally black. Y'all go follow Gladys. She spit this. She said, as a black woman, I have zero sympathy for a black woman wanting to marry into a white supremacist institution, a monarch built on blood and resources of black people and black people's land. Hashtag H-Y-O-N. And everybody that's be one on code know what H-Y-O-N mean. This is how I really know if you're on code. If you know what H-Y-O-N mean, put that in the comments and put B1 right next to it. Shout out to you, Gladys, for saying that. So Monique Presley hits back. What about as a human? Any sympathy for people being mistreated? Racism, depression, sexism? If not, okay. No reason to expect any either then. Womp, womp. Don't come to me with a, what about all human shit. You see how they did. So this is what Gladys said. She said, at Globally Black comes back and says, she willingly chose to be a part of that firm. I have sympathy for the black people who are slash were oppressed, who have been murdered, whose lands have been plundered, and for their descendants today that live with the consequences of actions of such an institution. Go in and let have at Globally Black. And that's my, sh that's my womb sister, Gladys, who is Sudanese. She just came back from Sudan. I'm talking about the real African shit. They out there in Africa cooking and shit. But she's a New Yorker, so she's African and that African-American mix, she on cold, baby. I fucks with that, Gladys. You've been around with me for a long time, Gladys. I love you and she a Leo. Gladys is single, brother, scoop her up. Go go follow her at Globally Black. I follow some amazing women, they follow me. We, we collaborate. I keep up with this type of stuff. That's who we need in our collective. Check that shit. We don't do what, at, uh, what about as a human. You don't bring that to me. What the fuck did we need the interview for with Oprah and Meghan Markle for? What the fuck do I give a shit about Meghan Markle for and what she going through? Anybody getting choked out and anybody experience some evil shit from some evil people? What the fuck do I give a damn about that for? When you got they playing dumb like that, you know, they say when you act like a clown, they say when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. You see what I'm saying? When you when you clowning, <laughs> you get clown prizes. You you, you play stupid games, you, you you win clown and stupid prizes. That's what you do when you're clowning. This is this, girl. I don't have sympathy for that. It's hard to have sympathy for people that are experiencing um, backlash and experiencing anything negative from a known racist evil white institution don't expect me to have any sympathy for you if you go signing up for the goddamn shot i got my vaccine don't expect no sympathy from me when you playing dumb and you don't understand tuskegee you don't understand big pharma you don't understand just the news you see people that have taken the motherfucking covid shot are dead and you still i don't have any sympathy for that y'all better let go let go i'm putting on some cream right now and this cream is so good y'all Maria, my Scorpio womb sister, this is the million dollar cream. Let me read this. The million dollar cream. And y'all go um, to botanicals. Yeah, this is Birmingham. Yeah, go to botanicalzen.net. Send an email. To, I'm going to have it all in my video description. But this is really good cream. It's excellent for chronic aches, muscle pains. It's inflammation. And it's actually really perfect for menstrual cramps and back pain. So if you want something that has, um, you know, infused, you know, THC in it, it has THC infused in it. A lot of people use this in um, massage parlors or in spas. 
is very good for that but also as people that are experiencing inflammation it's also good i've even seen that it helps with like little acne and stuff like that so i got some products i'm gonna definitely shout out but I was just thinking about this as I was looking at all the products that we have and people that play stupid. If you don't know how to like support your brothers and sisters right now, do black owned businesses, you should know and not have a mass of teachers repeating shit over and over again. We should know this shit by now, guys. You don't know that the Asian people ain't your friends. You still getting your ass beat. That's the price of playing dumb. That's the price of playing dumb. We're not playing those games no more, y'all. Any black woman that's hollering about Brad at this point, um, she she don't take her seriously. Any black woman, as I said in my little thing, any black woman that's attracted to a black, a white man, don't take her seriously. She's off cold and she's in a mental coma. She's, she's mentally ill. Don't even bring your goddamn mixed breed children around here. Don't bring them. They not welcome. We at war. You done laid up with Brad, and now you looking for refuge over here with your goddamn kids because he done thrown you out. Are y'all watching Bell Collective? Bell Collective is a really cute little show. I watch it. It's my little guilty pleasure, but whatever. It's a reality show of these black, successful black women in Jackson, Mississippi. And it's this one black woman who just divorced from this white guy. And the black woman is a dentist. She's very young. I guess she's cute, but she looks like a black Barbie doll. Fake hair a lot of makeup she's pretty but she looks like a fake black barbie doll she doing the most caping for becky you you laid up with a white man all together <laughs> and you talking about you y'all broke up because you didn't know how it was going to be to have interracial children and the stuff that she experienced in the south as an interracial couple and girl say them interracial tears we don't want to hear that we don't want to hear none of that like they're not welcome to the barbecue we have let so many people into the damn barbecue it's a shame and so we post them no that's not my standard is having mixed kids speaking of tanzania honey africans be loving to lay up with white people you know they do african women girl they be checking for white men so bad girl because you know they hate they self this not all of y'all if it don't apply let it fly shut up Shut up, because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. They bed went so hard on the continent. Girl, they make the people over in the States. Shame. They got Olympians that bed winch. I mean, they have like real Olympic sports of bed winching and bed bucking out there on the continent, honey, because it's still an open plantation in a lot of places and in a lot of countries. It's still very much, girl, it almost feel like chattel slavery. Hell, just go to the Gambia. They value the white lady over there. The white lady can come in and pick up a little Gambian man, have him. I mean, it's just, and then you can pick a child. Child, it's just, ain't nothing changed. So that's what it is. That's what the fuck it is, honey. So Africans be cooning out. They be loving to mix up with Becky and Brad and honey. I know what the African women is on, and you're not invited to the barbecue either. We're at war. I have zero sympathy for that shit. We not on the same team, sis. Don't try to align with me. If you already know, I don't align with angry single black women and African women that got issues with the black and African man. I'm certainly not about to align with your ass that then chose the fucking oppressor that's chosen somebody that's knowingly pedophiles they they're historically pedophiles they historically abuse people of color as you call it melanated people and black people they've historically done that girl you something's wrong with you you don't like yourself if you watching this broadcast and you thought we was alike because you wear hoop earrings and you conscious too but you like brads and you liking essays and all the other non black baby we not the same we not the same if you see me in the street remember you don't know me like ti said if you one of them chicks if you see me in the street when you don't know me if you know you dating the brad and you know you want you some light-skinned babies and you like the the mixed color and you value that shit, we don't know each other that's how it is for me over here i'm so tired of y'all y'all six slaves that need your fucking hair straight, that need to have some motherfucking edges laid. Baby, that ain't nothing but oppression all over again. That ain't nothing but the straightening comb, needing a perm. What is with the need to have all, all these fucking straight edges and, and laid edges? Laid edges smells like oppression to me. That smells like the need to change your phenotype too. Fuck that shit. Let me pull some fucking edges out for your ass, for y'all hoes. This is, this is what a real edge look like, bitch. 
That's 4C. That's 4C. And I got all my edges. When is it going to be okay for you to have your edges like that? M normalize that shit. I don't want to. I don't want to shellac shit. Now I am gonna give me a cute little hairstyle. Shout out to my hairstylist, and we gonna do some little whatevers and stuff for my newbie and not so whatever. But girl, I'm not ashamed of these naps. I love this phenotype. I know. I know how y'all look when y'all don't like yourself. Those bad weaves. You still mixing in weaves in your hair? I already know you still asleep from the neck up. You still asleep. You still don't like yourself. You still want to mix your phenotype. You wearing contacts? Oop. Okay. We're not the same, sis. Cause you don't even know you look stupid. You look stupid. Women that wear contacts and, and wigs and shall adhesive. Have y'all thought about that? Adhesive, really? I used to do it, but that's that's chemicals. You are chemically altering your shit. You're going through a lot of trouble if you love yourself. That's not, anyway, I don't have time. Speaking of the ladies, I want I do want to shout out some products. I have a full Queen Supreme combo. Y'all need to go to um, houseofimotep.com, promo code, rd80 as in romeo delta 80 y'all i got the best package shout out to you kwame and this addresses everything my skin has been clearing up i have something called colloidal silver okay and we actually have colloidal silver spray compound now so the colloidal silver plus colloidal okay you see the diamonds on my nails the colloidal silver plus is amazing okay this it has the olive leaf extract peppermint extract olive um the tea tree oil and the oregano oil but if you have antiviral shit, anything that's going on you may not think it's antiviral but when you got shit popping up and stuff like that it's viruses it's infections it's bacterial infections y'all gotta come on get with it but when you have colloidal silver you can take this orally not this one but i have an oral colloidal silver available on house volume up too but this kills funguses infections skin rashes all that shit on contact so all you have to do is just spray this and i mean it has real live herbs all you have to do is spray this girl and put it on the infected areas girl put it on your face put it wherever you got some bumps if you got cystic acne and shit like that going on Girl, I have seen it work wonders. Put this on the cystic acne, honey. It will work. And this stuff that's all in the Queen Supreme Combo. I had, um, I broke out up here when you um, shave your eyebrows and stuff like that sometimes. Just some little bumps. I put this shit on it. Girl, that shit went away. It went away. Okay? Seriously. So y'all go and get that Colloidal Silver Plus. Put that shit. And it looks like this when you put it on um, a cotton ball. So it sprays dark. So it's full of real active herbs. But girl, it's the shit. Um, the other thing in the Queen Supreme Combo, which is under $90, by the way. It gives you everything. So you got like one, two, three, four, five. You got five powerful herbs, a blend. So you got about 90, not even 90, but like about 30 different herbs, okay, for under $90. So it's all in these specialized formulas so this one the ut balance urinary tract balance okay this one has um uber ursi leaf this is all for your urinary tract and uber ursi leaf is for a lot of things high blood pressure urinary tract weight loss all of this but herbs have about 10 different benefits so it's not just for one thing but i'm gonna just read you the herbs in it uber ursi leaf nettle leaf dandelion root is a really good one juniper berries fresh marshmallow root horsetail herb really good for your hair even skin nails all of that um, and fresh ginger root but this is in the ut balance it's up to you to go look at all of those herbs because they have about seven to ten different um benefits each but this is uh, specifically for urinary tract and those herbs are also good for so many other things too so you can be using this for urinary tract you can squeeze this and drop this into your water but you're probably going to be doing and addressing so many other ailments too because that's what herbs do um the next one i really like the uh, specialized formulated herbs is uh, the women's energy balance this is also in the queen supreme combo the women energy balance is not just for energy okay this is a formulated herbs for your female reproductive system overall health all of that stuff um it's got don kwai don kwai is a herb i love i've been using it since i was 13. if you need something for pms menstrual cramps even balancing your hormones um even it's good for uh leukemia cancer things like 
Don Kwai or even ashwagandha root because I think that's also in here. Yeah, ashwagandha root is good for cancer too. Like these are powerful herbs for a lot of things, but it just so happens to be in the women's energy balance, okay? So this is kind of like a women's um, all around vitamin, multivitamin for everything type of situation. You want something powerful, it's this. But it's got the Don Kwai, the ashwagandha, Damiana leaf, um, go to cola, ginkgo leaf, chase tree berry, and American ginseng root. All of that, really good shit. And as I said, all you're gonna do is just drop this in your water. And you're, you're making, taking, you know, your minerals and your capsules and your herbs very easy. So you drop that in. And that was probably about 30 drops. Um, yeah, 30 drops. All you need is 30 drops a day, girl. I be squeezing that shit. I ain't got time, girl. I squeeze about 90 drops in my shit. And today, I have blood oranges, if you can see that. I have some blood oranges. I ran out of lemons. I don't have no limes, but I did blood oranges because I want the citrus. And also, it's actually good to eat uh, the blood orange a lot peel too. Because you know I be eating my lemon lime, my lemon peels. Blood orange peels are good too. It's got all the essential oils in it, shit like that. Oh, mm, girl, it's so fucking good. Mm. But yeah, I just put all of that. You can put all of these types of herbs. Women energy balance. And the next one is the yeast buster. Yeast buster, having yeast candida if you eat a lot of sugar. Everybody eats a lot of sugar starch. You need something for that, okay? So women that have yeast situations, it's got patiaco, Oregon grape root, gentian root, fennel seed, or oregano oil. All of that in here too. The last one, last but not least, is hoodia. Hoodia is for burning that fat. If you want to melt some goddamn fat, hoodia, that's what you really want to fuck with. Hoodia, it will make, you know, it'll make it seem like you just got lipo. If you're thinking about doing lipo, get you some hoodia first. If you've ever thought about doing lipo, get hoodia. It will burn it off you, okay? Um, so, yeah, go to House of Imo Tip if y'all can put that in the comments. So, just go to artcaffyofficial.com and it'll be there. But, yeah. Houseofimotep.com, promo code RD8 is always gonna, it's on my other video descriptions as well. So you can look in this video description and get what you need. But that's the whole gamut of the Queen Supreme combo. For the ladies of the womb school, if you're interested in trying some of this THC cream, um, if you want this added to your Queen Supreme combo, if you're a part of the womb school, if you want some, it's very good for chronic aches, muscle pains, PMS, back pains, inflammation all of that this stuff is very very good so go to um info at botanicals with the z um botanicalzen.net so that's b botanical z e n dot net okay info at botanical zen dot net if you want some of that cream but if you want your cream um, your queen supreme combo i would definitely tell you to go to house of imotep um, dot com get your queen supreme combo and also i have some more products here from foliage i hope i'm saying it right but this is vegan the lip gloss i actually have on today is vegan lip gloss and it's from foliage so you guys need to go to f-r-o-l-i-a-g-e foliage.com and go and put in promo code art lip okay art lip but definitely this is vegan lip gloss and it is bussing and if you want that mac look mac if you want the mat m-a-t-t-e mat look she got it and she has a bunch of colors that i like so she sent me one this one comes out blue i don't know if y'all can see that but this one kind of comes blue okay that's how they be doing on youtube girl this one turns out blue when you put it on this one i have on today is this color okay and this color is called um blackberry the other color i sent, showed you earlier with that's the blue it's the paradise blue let me get this. Ooh, I don't want to jump that. And the last one I love that she wears a lot is the Hypnotize. It's a full red. Red, 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 red. So this is a very good one. But that's my little products I want to like lay out for y'all. And shout out to Plant Based Dripping. Who know about Plant Based Dripping? That brand is amazing. Shout out to you at Chef Nikki and the Mix, her beautiful family. Honey, they vegan, but this brand, you notice it everywhere. They viral, um, but I love them too. But let's get back to what's really real. As I said, we're going to pay a lot of prices. If you guys don't know how to listen and get instructions, if you don't know how to listen to them herbs and, and what does what, you're going to be at the doctor's office getting um, 
procedures done. You can be getting surgeries done that you don't need. Paying a lot of money for people that don't care about you. You paying these doctor's bills and they don't give a fuck about you. You care about a racist white institution that ain't never cared about you. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to stop playing along when they want to show the shit in our face. They want to keep our people confused. They want to show us sexual confusion. They want to show us deviancy. If you're marrying into white families, if you're marrying into anybody that's connected to those institutions, you're marrying, knowingly marrying into deviancy, and I have no sympathy for you. Nobody should have sympathy for you. We should turn our back and ostracize that type of behavior. We should. There is nothing cool about you mixing it up. This is when the sisters, the people that's on code, we gonna have to uphold the standard of blackness. If we're ever to survive, if we're ever to survive, we're gonna have to prioritize procreating with black and black only. If we're ever to survive, we're gonna have to prioritize building in village context again. If we're ever to survive, we're gonna have to prioritize being deeply melanated and celebrating our phenotype and celebrating our superior genetics and not getting it twisted and not wanting to replicate nor mock and imitate something that's recessive. You should have never have wanted to mock something that was a recessive gene. You should have never wanted to hit your wagon, and open your legs, your womb and your spirit to something that has historically been demonic, oppressive and evil to the nature of your ancestors. You are a disgrace to your ancestors and you are a traitor. This is how you spot traitors. When you come in with those different phenotypes, I already know you're not playing for my team. You're not happy to be on this team. When you mixing it up with Brad and Becky, you're not happy to be on this team and you're a traitor. We have, we have run out of time and now you're laying in the bed of the enemy and having his children and having his children and we're supposed to sit up here and play play with you like we don't know our goddamn history and one plus one is two and two plus two is four. There's no such thing as a 500 year old coincidence. But we playing. You want to roll yourself in their hospitals. You want to take their vaccines. You want to take their medications. You don't want to listen to the master teachers or your ancestors. We don't want to practice Sankofa. You don't want to practice Ujama or Ujima and support black businesses and understand that if you don't support your black businesses, you can't pass down your job to your children. It's a crime, as Dr. Claude Anderson said, to send our children into other neighborhoods and beg for jobs, to send your children to the Arabs, to the Indians, to the Chinese, to the white man, sending our children to them to beg for jobs, sending your children to the oppressors, to their open enemy. You're sending them to their front door begging for bread. No, that's not, that's not, that is not the type of war, that is not someone that's a real soldier. That's not the type of war that you win. When you playing stupid like that, when you playing dumb, you lose every time. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And we have too much going for ourselves as a people. And for those of you in the collective, that get this, those of you in the collective that are awake, God bless you, man. May the ancestors shine upon you. Women like Gladys, black owned businesses out here getting a shout out to Kwame House of Imhotep. I met him online about four years ago. Yep, 2017. I was just starting a womb school. I said, I need a herbalist. I said, if you hit yourself to me, man, I promise we going to the top. Supporting our black owned businesses, supporting our brothers, supporting our sisters, supporting ourselves. That's self-love. That's real self-love. Making sure that you circulate that black dollar in our community and not giving it right back out. Practicing self-love and respect to the black man and honoring him and not challenging him. 
y'all making him wrong for everything i'm so tired of y'all blaming black men for everything somehow some way y'all got to blaming the straight black man for megan markle now i don't want to get into this y'all i'm so tired of y'all doing that to, to our black men to your only first line of defense but you don't deserve to be protected because you're a traitor because every time you open your mouth you hollering about it's the black man's fault you can't halfway date. You're not positive on a dating scene because you think black men are messed up. You haven't seen the grand scheme of things in the picture that you're both in the burning house. You've both been affected. And you don't have a heart for the black man. I have to deal with more sisters than I'd like that actually have a lot of vitriol and hatred for their own men. So the agenda, the programming, it has worked on you. Pitting the slaves against each other, it's worked. That agenda, that age old agenda, to destroy our families, it's worked on us. Now it's the straight black man. Now it's the heterosexual black man's fault. I'm not dealing with y'all on that no more. I'm not doing that with y'all no more. I see through that. Y'all should see through that. That gender war, the manufactured gender war, is more dangerous than crime and poverty. No, that's the thing that 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 breaks you from the foundation. When you, when you practice, when you are in that gender war with the black man, that manufactured gender war that you keep participating in every time I turn around, black women, black men, that gender war, that strips you, that weakens your foundation, that keeps your foundation weak. And we wonder why we can't get nowhere. You're shooting yourself off. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You really are. Like you, You're trying to build something on sand. It cannot be built on that foundation of hatred toward each other. What kind of shit? That's like you're trying to save a lot of money and then you 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 spending at the same account that you're trying to save in. It's counterintuitive. It's very counterintuitive to do that and you don't realize that's anti-survival. That's what they wanted it to do for you is to confuse you, keep you angry, keep you masculine black woman, keep you fighting and combative with, the, with your only line of defense which is the black man thank god for the black man i love you y'all don't y'all don't love him y'all don't love him so they won with your ass they won with a lot of y'all asses they won with a lot of y'all asses constantly challenging the black man i can't finish a sentence without you saying well they they abandon us they never protect us if you one of those black women that say black men don't protect you please go on, on off my page i'm so tired of y'all popping up i'll be like how do we have women like you still around still on that yang yang shit you don't even realize how wrong you are to repeat some stupid shit like that because if i could logically go toe to toe and debunk that you don't want to hear nothing you traumatized you hurt you think the black man's abandoned you so bitch if that's your perception that creates your reality get the fuck on out of here ain't nobody got time it's war time it's over end game ain't nobody got time to be fucking arguing with these black women out here who have already went to the other side and you a traitor. Girl, go on date Brad and, and, and S.A. Nam if you that mad at black men. Get your ass over there and get ghetto gagged and choked out and killed and shit. And don't ask nobody to come save your ass because it was the black man that didn't protect your ass. Stupid. I'm mad at the black man, so I'm going to go date my oppressor who's oppressed my whole people because I didn't get the black man that I wanted. Girl, get, girl, get you some business, honey. Find yourself and go heal, okay? We don't have time. No, we don't have we don't we don't have nothing in common. If you see me in the street and you got a Brad and you got you some little mixed race babies, don't we don't remember you don't know me. You don't know me. We need to start closing the fucking door just like white people do to 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 other white people when they date outside they race and shit. They disown they ass. Oh, I'm sorry. Remember how Megan Markle now and oh that's how you do. That's how the fuck they supposed to do. They family is on code. We need to be on code like that. When we see our family members bring a fucking Brad and Becky around, we need to say, up, oh, you out. You're cut off. You're no longer one of us. You lose privileges. Honey, they cutting off security detail for the prince, the motherfucker. They cut his money off. Bitch, you know. <laughs> they unite. Yeah, but we so ready to invite everybody to the damn barbecue. We so ready to mix our shit up because we hate us. We hate our shit. That's plantation. Why are we playing dumb and needing to watch an interview? Brothers, if you single, ask the black women how they feel. The women you meet, ask them how they feel about R. Kelly. Ask them how they feel about T.I. Not T.I. yet, because that's too soon. 
But ask them how they feel about the Meghan Markle, Serena Williams, and Bill Cosby. That's going to get you some B1 women. Because it's only a few. It's, it's only one type of mindset you can have. That will give you your queens right there. And a lot of you, if you ask your current girlfriend or wife that right now, you're going to be shocked at the kind of um, traitor you're probably sleeping with. That's going to tell you who really on code. That's going to give you your real B1 black women that you really need to fuck with. If they ain't rocking like Gladys at Globally Black, <laughs> and they not got this in their mouth, you, I'm sorry, brothers, you got you a traitor. I know when I hear black women on that yang yang negativity about black men, I'm talking to a trader. You're not on our team. That's why I've kept saying this over and over again. You want to know how to spot a trader? Look at who's trying to weaken and look at who's trying to take down our number one defense. Who's trying to take down the black man? Who's a part of the take down black man campaign? That's your trader right there. The people that are against the black family the people that support those agendas that want to confuse the black family and not represent the black family and the masculine black man, the heterosexual masculine black man, look at the people who are trying to weaken your first line of defense because the black man is your first line of defense. You can't run to Becky and Brad now. They're not your first line of defense. They don't give a fuck about you. You haven't learned that shit yet, slave. You looking for love in the big house. They, the big house, don't. it ain't no love in the big house. We don't do bugs, sis. We do not do bugs. That was a harmless little bug, too, but I was doing this. But we don't, we don't, we don't do love like that. No, ma'am. We don't. And it's time for us to just go completely and fully on freaking code. I don't have to, I don't have to, you know, miss my words. I don't have to be ashamed of this. But when you see those people that do not like your men, you know those are the traitors. That's how I know. People that say open to all races, people that saying kumbaya, that's telling you right there that those are the traitors in black society. If you don't know that we should not be supporting those marriages, interracial marriages, interracial engagements, interracial relationships, none of that shit, I don't give a fuck where they from. You better go on alert. Because that's a sister that don't really honor her phenotype. Ain't nowhere in the world you can love yourself and want to open your legs to something that's going to change the texture of your baby. You're going to change the whole phenotype of your bloodline. That ain't love, and I know it's not. I'm not playing with y'all no more. I'm not playing with y'all no more. I don't need you as my friends when you're sick. I'm not trying to befriend those black women who needed the contacts, and now you had to go lay up with somebody that wasn't black to make sure you had to get you a light-skinned baby with some green eyes. Girl, go on, on somewhere. That's the type of traitors that we have in black society, and that goes for men too. We can't, we can't even talk about bed winching and black women sleeping with white men without those same black women. How about, well, what about when the black men do it? If you're a what about when black men, what about when black men do it? Uh, 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 uh. What about when the brothers date the white girls because they only like white girls? Shut your retarded ass up. Cause you, you don't know no real brothers because brothers ain't even choosing up on white women like that. They show you that little bitty percentage in the media, blow it up, and you still don't know the real percentages that 91 and 92 percent of black men marry black women. Goofball. Thinking that the whole black male race. No, bitch, black men not choosing you because you ugly and overweight and you got a nasty attitude and you have a repulsive, repelling energy and you have a, a bad perception of the male species. So, bitch, that's why I ain't no black man that's worth anything choosing up on you because you not worth anything. You don't see self-worth in yourself, in your culture. You see self-worth in going to your institution thinking that the degree did it, thinking that it's in Jesus. Bitch, you just as goofy and, and sad and you know, confused as everything. Talking about what about the black men? Girl, ain't nobody here to go back and forth with your goofy, sorry, mis miserable ass who's gonna be chronically single. Like somebody really has time to be going back and forth with y'all asses. Honey, we out here chilling with our men, running businesses and shit. Thinking that we, we give a fuck about you. Talking about what about when the black men do it. Girl, for real, you better build your legacy with your black king. 
and put your, sorry, you won't be attracted to Black King because you don't feel like that's going to happen. You think these niggas are on shit. Girl, go ahead, find you a women's travel club and die. Get you a deal dough and die, honey, okay? And get you a girlfriend, just like Shahrazad Ali said. They going to have y'all so fucked up and masculine, y'all going to start to choose each other as a last resort. And that's what the fuck, the prophecy is real. You was already a traitor talking against a black man. Now all you can do is bump pussies now. Now you're gay. Now you're gay. So you're gay now. Okay. Because you you so mad at the black man, you going to bump pussies with a woman who has an identity crisis, who looks like a man, and you going to get you a stud. Okay. Shout out to the studs, honey, because they be paying bills. They do pay bills. A stud will know when your ass need a fill-in before a nigga do. Now that's, shout out to the studs, honey, but I ain't with that confusion shit going on. But if you're stood on cold, I love you. I know you taking care of your girlfriend. She ain't even gotta ask for a feeling. You know what she need, cause your ass need the same thing. Y'all both on your period. Shit. Girl, shout out to the on cold studs, girl, but they, look, it, the agenda worked. It worked. We so fucking, I'm like, how, how that happened? You got three kids and now you with women? Oh, girl. Woo, honey. Woo. Woo, girl. I can't even do women kissing scenes on TV. I be looking away. I can't, I still can't. I still, I'm not even the chick. I'm in the ATL. I'm not the chick that can go to the strip club. Don't, don't take me to no strip club. I enjoy a strip club as much as a straight motherfucking alpha male enjoys getting a lap dance from a man who, and he never does. That's not true, okay? That doesn't happen. When men ask me, oh, you don't like lap dances? No, motherfucker. Men don't ask me that shit no more because I've made it clear. I done wrote blogs about this shit and everything. I, I'm not that vicarious chick. I ain't none of that shit. I'm not. I ain't never, I, I mean, I was when I was in my 20s because I was being programmed to think, oh, okay, well, when I get drunk, let's kiss a girl in the club. That shit felt weird when I did it. And it took one one good time for a girl to really come at me and really want to fuck me for me to be like, oh, I don't, that ain't the life I want. She scared the shit out of me. Trying to fucking tell me, you know what I mean? They was like, hey, such and such want to see you in her room. She ready for you. I'm like, what we coming back to the house after you know the club friends chilling whatever you know her ass, and she was six feet tall too so like what the fuck right this is a fucking what and she's in the bedroom talking about she ready for like what i'm five two 125 130 what in the fuck am i supposed to do with this this woman i was like oh lord no this ain't for me and i i ended up running up out of there I left, man. I left. Now, I think that night I did end up fucking one of their homeboys on the patio, though. I ain't gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. Oh, my God. I did. I'm not for fucking lesbianism. I ended up sneaking because that's not who I wanted. I wanted their little homeboy. I was out. You know, I ain't want him, but it just ended up happening because we was high. We was drunk, and they had played that Mr. Cheeks lights, camera, accent. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Doom, doom. And I was crunk. Girl, I ended up, that was the first time I had sex on the patio, which is sexy as hell, by the way. Ooh, child. Ooh, girl, he bent my ass. Oh, I was looking at the goddamn apartment complex, bitch. He was getting it in, too. Damn. Damn Pisces. I'm sorry. Shout out to the Pisces for Pisces season. Because that motherfucker, he, he hit the... Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Let me sip some of this detox water. That's how we got to get our wounds cleansed, because, girl, their memories be coming, girl. Ooh. No, honey. It's not a Clayco backyard. Everybody want to know where I stay. It's not. How it's going to look like a Clayco backyard? Shut your ass up. People want to be so close to me. I love you, too. I love you. It's not Clayco. I told them in Atlanta proper. Proper, 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 honey. But I do some Clayco. I love me some Clayco. But, no, so I had damn got fucked on in the apartment complex patio. But the damn lesbian was beckoning for me in the bedroom. Ooh, child. Mm-mm. And that's how I knew I wasn't gay. Now, the, the other time I knew I wasn't gay 
was when I was a flight attendant. Fuck it, it's story time. Fuck it. And I was hanging out with this chick named, let's call her Mo. And she had the big titties. I had the big booty. And we were kind of like twins a little bit. We were both cute, petite black flight attendants. I was the new one. She was a vet. She was about six years older than me. So she was like, girl, let's hang out sometime. I'm like, cool. I go over to her house, cute little apartment in Oak Park, Illinois, okay? Oak Park, Illinois. She said, let's go to Old Navy. Let's go shopping out, make some food. I went over to her house like, girl, cool, yes. She got a bad-ass apartment, okay? Sickening. I go in there. She's like, girl, yeah, I got some cute little clothes outfits. I'm like, girl, let me try your clothes on. Just chill shit. Trying on clothes and shit. She was like, ooh, you got some pretty nipples, girl. And I'm going to tell you why when I come back. So she had left the room, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, girl, like, pretty nipples. What she mean by that? You know I mean? They are nice or whatever. So, girl, she come back to the room. She had two candles in her hand, and she had no shirt on. So she's got these big D boobs out with these two candles. And she look, puts the candles down, and she starts kissing my nipples. Ooh, honey. Now look, that's my spot. I don't know about y'all, but the nipples is my spot. Don't even look at them. Don't even look at them and we fucking. That's how sensitive they are. If a bomb look at my nipples and blow on my nipples, if he, if a bomb suck on my nipples, we just gonna have to fuck. Me and that bomb. Me and that homeless man. We, we, we just gonna have to fuck, sir. These are jokes. Calm down. Honey, so she come in there and suck my nipples. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go with it, whatever. Because you got me. You got me. You got me. You know, these are like little dicks. These are like little dicks, guys, okay? For, for, for you know, certain women, all right? All those nerve endings. So she got me. I'm on the bed. At the time, I was dealing with this dude that had me sprung named Sean. Sean. He was Italian and Jamaican from New York, military man in North Carolina. I met him on a layover. So that's who had the pussy at the time. It wasn't this girl. So she was like, I'm going to take that pussy from Sean. I said, no, you're not. So, girl, we on the bed. She want to kiss. I kissed her whatever. It was weird. It was weird. I was just going with it because I didn't want to say, stop, stop, stop. I just, want, I just went with it. I just went with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be the one to just stop the shit. I was curious a little bit. That's why I said I was curious back in my 20s, though. But I'm going somewhere. So, girl, she jump on, on the side of the bed and get a dildo. I'm thinking, damn, she got that dildo quick. Dildo on the side of the bed. She's like, I'm about to take that pussy from Sean. I said, um, let me do you. So, girl, I ended up doing the dildo on her. <laughs> and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And, and clearly I didn't because she said, uh-uh, let me get it. Let me get off because you got a girl that's straight as hell trying to use a dildo on your ass. Girl, my, my rhythm was probably off. I was probably goddamn doing stupid shit because you wasn't finna penetrate me, for one. That's that's what it was. You, you're not penetrating me, okay? Girl, so after she got off, she just started boom, 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 boom. Like it sound like that. She hitting it hard, all that plastic. Boom, boom, bam, bam, bam. And then she called uh, somebody, um, answer whatever, she, somebody called her phone. She lay in there, I guess she got off. Woo, girl, I'm done. I'm like, girl, okay, whatever. Somebody called her phone. She's like, babe, guess who I'm laying here with? And she was like, all right. I'm like, and it was her boyfriend on the phone. Her boyfriend who happened, she was like, you, you mind if my boyfriend come over? I said, no, whatever. And she said, he wants some pussy. Do you, you know what I mean? Do you feel like some dick? I said, oh no, I'm good. So she said, my boyfriend finna come by. I was like, that's cool. So her boyfriend is this Italian police officer, 6'5 Italian police officer, honey, in Chicago. This is when I'm living in Chicago, honey. He come in there, cause she's his guma, all right? She's his second woman. And she doing all the freaky shit to get this ring from this white man. She was put, she called her, so put me on game. Like, girl, you can have a beautiful condo like this. And honey, you can get you a white man to put you in one. And I was not here for it. But girl, I ended up having to watch them fuck. Okay, because I went, he went finna fuck me, but girl, he did eat my pussy now. He did eat my pussy. He ate my pussy and her pussy, so he stacked us on top of each other. <laughs> this Italian police officer come in here doing this shit, okay? <laughs> oh, Lord, I got my pussy ate. And then, this man do that. I roll off because I ain't getting nothing from it. Oh, okay, whatever. Girl, so they start to fuck. Girl, how about the man dick was so little? And it wasn't even cut. Girl was uncircumcised. Girl. 
when I tell you, it was like it was like his dick had a turtleneck on, girl. I'm talking about like a, a beige turtleneck. His dick looked like a hairless cat. Y'all know what them hairless cats be looking like? His dick looked like a light-skinned baby when it's just born. And they be like, oh, you got a pretty baby. He looked like somebody light-skinned baby that just got born. And it's about to turn. The color ain't quite turned yet, but it's still light-skinned. Girl, no. No, ma'am. And then the condom got lost up inside of her. So they go, she's fucking on her knees. Oh, no, no, he's on his knees trying to fish the fucking condom up out of her, girl. Ain't this some shit? And I'm thinking I'm going to Old Navy and go shopping. I just came to go shopping. I came to go shopping. My stupid ass not understanding that fucking hoes be having game too. They'll set your ass up too. She had it all planned out. Oh, guess who I'm laying here with, babe? Hold on, who else know me? Like, bitch, this is my first time hanging out with you. So you was talking about this? Girl. The bed, is this bed winch prong? Cause one girl, no, cause he ain't penetrate. He ain't penetrate. He ain't penetrate. <laughs> okay. I mean, did I, but I have, I have walked down that road, but uh-uh, no, this not the video for that, but I have told people, I've dated a white guy in the past and shit like that. Girl, I come, it, this is evolution, never again, ever again, ever again. We've done shit in the past that we can't undo. I've been cleansed. I didn't have rituals. I didn't ate black medicine, bitch. My soul is cleansed for this king, okay? So don't worry about that. Don't worry about nothing. That's how I can tell your ass. It's a violation for our ass to sit up here and lay with Brad. It's a violation. So what the fuck I care about Megan Markle? And I already know she ain't getting dicked down. But ain't nothing that a white man can give you, sis. If you don't know that, I'm just saying, I know that. Look at they penis, girl. Look at they life. Look at they genetics. Look at just they history, girl. No. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Nothing they can give you. But anyway, y'all, I done told y'all my shit. Ooh. The Bed Witch Chronicles, honey, in the past. And that was, a, that was on a fly, but that was on some stupid-ass lesbian shit. But we are really a disgrace out here. The master teachers and I already told us it's going to come a day that we're going to be so challenged and so at odds with the men, our kinsmen, that we're going to start going after each other and i'm serious y'all i ain't i got a same sex loving b1 woman in the um womb school and i live for her you see what i'm saying but i can talk my shit because she's on coach she understand what the fuck it is i'm gonna roast and drag every goddamn body i don't give a fuck whether you interracial dating whether you straight and supporting some bs sexual perversion and shit i can't i can't get with none of that shit mm-hmm mm -mm. You said thanks for your honesty. You welcome. You welcome. Auntie and tip tip told to have some experiences, girl. That's how I can tell you ass. I am so grateful for my sexual experiences. That's one. I am grateful. Girl, I can tell you every every sign of the zodiac. <laughs> girl, which ones is good? Which ones ain't? Okay, girl, I don't have time to be telling y'all all my shit because I'm a real sage with a Pisces moon. So I'm real and I'm freaky kinky with it. I'll talk about it. And girl, we can talk about it all day it, with no shame, with no shame. And I love talking about it to my V1 folks. But anyway, guys, um, I've got some more info sessions to do. We're going to be doing some vacations, you know, going to this beautiful island to get our teeth fixed. You know, they got to go. I got to go. Um, if y'all want to go with us, our roster is 60% full. I'm taking 10 people, May 20th through 27th, to get our teeth fixed, cosmetic dental. If you want to get whitening, I'm going to be getting whitening, crowns and veneers for $30, bridges and implants for $60. You know, a lot of the people on the info calls have been so great to share their experiences about what kind of, you know, dental assessments and estimates we get out here. It be in the 30s and 60,000s. I said they be expecting us to do a damn rehab property in our mouth. Like people just got 30 and 30 stacks to sit around like that and dropping your mouth. People don't have 20 stacks, 10 stacks to drop in their mouth. So 
If you know you need much needed dental work, cosmetic dental work from braces, whitening, veneers, um, all that cosmetic dental work, you can go on this trip with us. It's only $18.95. It's under $2,000. And I'm paying for and I'm adding the flights and your rooms. That's included in that price, okay? And the average smile makeover, for the most part, is going to be about $500. That's how cheap it is in this country. So if y'all want to go to that, go to Art Cathy Official. Click the dental tourism link. It'll probably have an old... Um, uh, date of February 26th, but it's still the link you can use to attend the next info session, which is March 15th. And so, if you want to get on the mailing list, send me an email at artcathyofficial.com um, and, and tell me, you know, hey, Art, get me on the mailing list. I want to attend the next info session. I want to come on this trip. I got a few spots left. If you want to come on a trip in May, that would be awesome. And ladies in the womb school, we have our um, call. It's going to be next Thursday, not tomorrow. So we're going to have our weekly calls to start up next week. And if anybody wants to do the natal chart readings, if you want to know who's right for you, if you want to get that energy together and understand who and what and what type of gifts you need, you know what I mean, the type of gifts you have, the type of weaknesses you have, um, the path you need to be taking in life. Like that's very important to get that type of spiritual insight, guidance, and outlook based on who you are. That's done so much for me. I know who I am, my strengths and weaknesses. I can wield my powers. You know, I'm working with the power of my ancestors, nature and spirit. And so a lot of you need to start that journey or else you're just kind of going to be going around in circles, not really knowing what you're here for, not really in your power, but you know it's there, but you're not sure how to access it. That has a lot to do with not knowing, um, you know, a lot about your temperament, your gifts, and knowing who you are on a natural level. Those elements are very real and they play a part in your life. All of these things from the fire, the earth, the water, and the air, the elements, we can see those things, but they haven't taught you how those things show up in you and make who you are and why you do the things you do. Okay, so get a natal chart reading. Go to our Cafe Official for a natal chart reading. Um, and if you want to go to the dental tourism, you can um, join the next one, March 15th. Ladies, join the womb school. But this is good. I love talking about this stuff. And again, knowing a trader, the first thing that lets me know I'm with a trader is going to be the way the, the woman and the way the black man acts toward their counterpart. If you want them black women that's constantly hollering about what the black man ain't doing, it's wrong broadcast, sis. I don't even have it. I don't even have it, boo. I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear shit by T.I. I don't want to hear shit. I want to hear about these goddamn crackers and how we going to take care of them and how we going how we going to murk them. How we going to fight. Don't tell me about who who T.I. doing what he doing in the bedroom. I'm not into that. I'm going straight on code and you tell me about the all the other white pedophiles, all the pedophiles and crazy men, people that's killing our children. We still ain't got justice for Breonna Taylor. So tell me about that. Don't tell me about TI. Let's talk about Breonna Taylor. That's that's my that's how I go for that. We got white murderers out here that you're laying with. Hell, at least TI and his goddamn wife laying with each other, goddamn it. Shit. Fuck out of here, honey. You ain't gonna talk bad about nobody from the ATL. I mean, I stand for my ATL and you know, I, I you know, not not to a fault. I mean, I, I'm B1, obviously. Like, I don't believe in kissing celebrities' ass. That's not what it is. But see, I, I know what time it is. And I know it's time to get on code, especially when they keep, they come for our men. All of this stuff is strategic, okay? I don't believe everything. I wasn't with the Bill Cosby shit, nor was I with the R. Kelly shit. That don't mean I support pedophiles or rapists. Y'all got that shit confused. But we need to go hashtag first them. The people that's on code and be one, put hashtag first them. I feel about T.I., you want to know what I feel about R. Kelly, hashtag first them. That's what the fuck I feel, okay? Ooh, shit. Because any black woman that's attracted to and with and marrying and procreating with the white man and her open known enemy should not be taken seriously and is off code. I don't want to kind of buy Swana right now. What you want me to kind of buy Swana for? I know that's right. Period. First them. Period. Ty. No, that's right. Shit. First them, baby. Shout out to you, Mr. Short Stroke. What that mean? <laughs> Short Stroke. Mm. Yeah, I love my B1 people. That's right. First them. Stacy, what's up, birthday twin? I see you, boo. Come for the Cosmetic Dental Tron 7000. You be riding hard with me. Come to the Cosmetic Dental Info Sessions that we be having on the phone. It'd be really good. We got some brothers coming on this trip. Shout out to you, Brother Lavelle, that's coming on the trip. 
I love all my people that I see on the roster, the people that join the info calls. Um, yeah, so go to my website if you want to join the next one, because Cosmetic Dental is real, girl. It's so many people that need dental work, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. My baby got to get some braces. My people got to get some bridges and implants. Um, I had a brother on the call that told me the temporary um, implants that he had are starting to break. They broken. You know what I'm saying? You got temporary work that's starting to fuck up and you need the permanent work now. And they quoted him 30000 each side, 30000 60000 And he's only been able to pay about 20000 so far or something like that. I was like, Lord have mercy. We don't have time for that, y'all. We can go do this goddamn... Um, <laughs> beautiful vacation for seven days i got your room i got your flights you know what i'm saying pay your 18.95 come on let's go to a fly ass place and i ain't telling everybody where we going i'll tell y'all later on but i'm gonna be going down there april and may um and so it's gonna be amazing so i'm just grateful for y'all one last thing i'm i'm older art right, the stroke is shorter now i fool <laughs> i bet it ain't Ooh, child, it don't matter the duration, honey. It's about the intensity. Boop, boop, boop. That's all you need, honey. It's one. Pop, pop. That's it. But um, one last thing I was going to say. If you have anybody that's in the Georgia area, even Savannah or Atlanta, doesn't matter, but anywhere in Georgia, if you are good with logistics and helping a new trucking company start up, I have friends and family that have a new trucking operation and it's growing, so it's going through growing pains. It's money's not a problem. They pull in a lot of money. We pull in a lot of money, but we need a secretary. We need somebody for the books and preferably a woman, okay? So uh, we got you on room and board. We got you on a good pay. You're going to be working with us. You know, I'm not saying a whole lot of stuff, but you know, business is real and I, I work with a lot of black people in business and so this is something that came across my lap and I was like all right let me tap into my resources because you know growing pains are real it's a lot of black companies starting and a lot of times companies don't end because of lack of funding it ends because of lack of maintenance and and the lack of infrastructure and admin so we need um a woman to help with a you know trucking company startup that's starting up if you know that if you're familiar with that industry the trucking industry and if you're good with admin paperwork that type of thing um let me know hit me up and send me a message um art kathy at gmail you can send me art kathy at gmail okay but ladies gentlemen i talked about a lot of stuff today i believe in you know being aware and knowing that awareness and, and wisdom is going to keep us alive. I went over a lot of stuff today. I talked about some herbs that we need to look at, ladies, from, you know, dealing with UTI, from really learning about these herbs, all six of them that, that come in these tinctures, you know, like the women's energy balance. This has about six or seven, you know, different herbs for each. And we have a king nourishment formula, too. So if you want reproductive plans, if you want something for especially formulated for women and men, you can go to houseofimotep.com. And thank you for the donations to Money Sign Art Kathy um, for Cash App. I really appreciate that. And um, again, if you have someone in mind, a woman that's very good with logistics, that can help with um, the, the trucking company startup, it's growing pains, it's growing a lot. And we need someone to help with that so that would be wonderful we got you it's a great opportunity and um i'll be talking to you guys soon i almost don't want to go white women be considering for their white men have sex with black women oops somebody said because they consider having sex with black women because they basically saw a pet like a dog or cat <laughs> yes and were any of y'all aware that a long time ago white women did consider sleeping with black women as cheating because they saw it as sleeping with a dog or a cat or a pet i i'm on that all day long Yes, 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 yes. I showed the baby. Somebody know what time it is. And did you also know that when a white man chews your ass, you know, and even pimps will put you on game with this type of shit. The tricks, the white tricks, they choose black women because it's a fetish. But not only that, they like to debase themselves. White men get into debased sex and sadistic nature. So it's like bestiality. It's like sleeping with an animal a form of debasing themselves and sullying themselves and dirtying themselves. They pick the black to feel dirty, to sleep with an animal. Hello? Hello. It ain't because they saw some different in you. No, it's because they practicing in bestiality. And on that note, 
this was a real ass conversation and I'm very glad that they brought that point up okay shout out to everybody go to artkathyofficial.com and I'll talk to you soon bye